Hi guys, this video is going to focus on molecular models, how they're used in the scientific industry and what their limitations are. So if we start off with 2D models then, which you will recognise here, I've got glucose, I've got butane and I've got water. Now the first thing to know about them is that they're quite simple. They contain just the letters of the atoms involved and the arrangement, which brings on to the second advantage in that it's great at showing the actual atoms involved and how they're arranged. Now with this simplicity comes a couple of drawbacks in the fact that they don't show you the size and they don't show you any type of 3D shape of what the atom looks like. Okay, that's it for 2D, let's move on to 3D then. So here are a couple of examples which you should have seen before. Now these come in really handy when we look at, for example, ionic compounds like sodium chloride, because they show you how the ions arrange and they show you that ionic lattice structure. However, the major downside of the 3D models is it doesn't show you the centre of the atom. In particular for these ionic ones, you can't see what's in the centre, whether it's hollow or whether it's the same throughout. That's everything for 3D then, so let's move on to dot and cross, which you'll have come across in your ionic and your covalent bonding. So there are two key advantages for dot and cross diagrams then, one of which it shows you how the actual bonding forms and where the electrons have come from during the reaction. It has a familiar negative though in that it doesn't actually show you the size of the compounds and it also doesn't actually show you how the atoms are arranged. So for example it doesn't show you it's a lattice structure. Right, let's move on to the final model that you need to know then, which is ball and stick diagrams. Now the great thing about ball and stick diagrams is they actually show you the shape of the compound in 3D, which is a lot more realistic than the 2D ones that we've looked at previously. It's for this reason that these are the more widely used out of all of the different models that we've talked about. However, there is a drawback to them, and that is that they are misleading. So it looks as though there's a large gap, which there isn't, between the actual atoms. And it also doesn't show you the correct scale, which we've talked about in the previous models. So that's everything you need to know on the different types of models. Right, now that we've done that, let's have a look at the question for this then, which is a lovely six marker. So the question is, compare and contrast the four types of molecular model. You've got the 3D, 2D, dot and cross, and ball and stick. Whenever you see compare and contrast, it's usually looking for the advantages and disadvantages of each. Sometimes it might ask you to give you which one you think is the best one, but in this case I'm just asking for what are the advantages and disadvantages of the four different types of model. So, pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Alright then, let's have a go. So, for two marks in this six marker, you needed at least one advantage and one disadvantage of two models. So, any two of these ones down here, you needed one advantage and one disadvantage of each. For four marks, you needed it for three models. And for six marks, you needed an advantage and a disadvantage of all four models. So as a bit of a recap then, let's have a look through. Your 2D model, you could have either gone with simple or they show the atoms in the compounds and how they're connected for your advantage. And for your disadvantage, they don't show the shape and they don't show the size. So one of either of those, and that would have got you the first bit. 3D. Show the ion arrangement is your positive, but your negative only shows the outside. Dot and cross shows how the bonds form and shows where the electrons come from. However, it doesn't show the size of the atoms and it doesn't show how they are arranged. And then your ball and stick shows the shape in 3D. It's more realistic than 2D. However, it's misleading. It looks as though there's that gap between the atoms and it doesn't show you the correct scale. So as a recap, if you wanted to get four marks, you needed one of these pluses and one of these minuses for each of the four. Okay, that ends this video then. So we'll have a look at the review question, which is give one advantage and one disadvantage of using 3D models, 2D models, ball and stick, and dot and cross, which should be relatively straightforward for you now. There we go. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, Click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.